Tiara Rodriguez and in this video we are going to be discussing 25 lessons that I've learned within my life you know 20 you know 25 lessons let's get it right um before I get started don't forget to like and subscribe I know it's been a long time since you guys seen me I've been dealing with a lot of life but without further ado let's jump right into it shall we okay number one lesson that I have learned is to make sure that you learn as much as I also wrote it down just so that I don't you know you know so I don't sound all over the place so I wrote it down so don't judge me I hope you gain something out of these 25 lessons that I provide and not take it personal or like it's none of my concerns whether you take it personal or not you know if you like it give it a like if you subscribe thank you very much i appreciate you um let's jump right into it so the first lesson that i've learned um is to make sure that you learn as much as you can about yourself with self-development books do as much research as you can about your own toxic traits as an individual which can also help you identify some toxic behavior in friendships and in your family love life or just in your friendships i think i said that already but y'all get what i'm saying you know so you can understand yourself and then see that within others and understand that that is not a good thing to deal with and then my second lesson um oh no i forgot to say this is gonna be two uh parts it's gonna be like a part one and part two because y'all not gonna sit through 25 lessons so um i'm just gonna break it in break it in hand y'all gotta get a part one part two and i hope y'all enjoy this is juicy lessons like how you not gonna how you not gonna say and then you know y'all haven't seen me in mad long like come on stop. like okay let me <laughs> i'm mad excited right now i'm like mad happy because i'm finally back you know but um second lesson is make sure that you make your budgeting and your savings your best friend like make that your best friend don't don't worry about what's going on Focus on your on your goals. Save and budget, honey. Do what you gotta do. Make that your best friend. Number three is do not compromise your beliefs, values as an individual for anyone's love or company or to make them feel comfortable around you. If you deeply want to build a life with someone and you know you want to share that same belief that shares that same belief as you, embrace it because that's what makes you valuable and different. So like if you you know i don't know how else to further explain that it's just like more so like if you want to share your life with someone that has that shares the same values and beliefs as you that's completely okay and if you have if you're around people that don't really accept or really accept you for your beliefs and your values and stuff like that like you it's okay you know what i'm saying like embrace it because that's what makes you unique that makes you valuable you know like embrace it that's what makes you different Number four, don't stay around anything that makes you, you know, feel less than a person. Um, where you're, you know, whether that's at work or with your friends, wherever you're at, like wherever you're at, whether that's your friends, a workplace, an event, if it's making you feel less than a person, then do not stick around. You don't any, you don't owe anybody an explanation. Like if you're one of those nice people that's just like, you know you try to deal with the fact that you know you're not comfortable and you don't like how you're treated but you just stick around because you're nice or you just stick around because you you know them for so long or you know this person for so long you don't have to do that you don't owe anybody explicit if you want to dip you dip if you want to disappear if you want to go to space and to come back you can do that you know what i'm saying like you don't owe nobody an explanation number five don't let anyone make you feel bad about being selfish with putting yourself first because there's nothing worse than being a pushover. There's nothing worse. Put yourself first. And anyone who thinks other than that, who thinks otherwise, they're just trying to they're just trying to get something out of out of you. That's why they don't like seeing you put yourself first. So really pay attention to that. Be selfish in your 20s. Like I'm pretty sure you've seen it all over this YouTube. Like be selfish. Yes, be so and it took me a long time to accept the fact that you know there's nothing wrong with being selfish i always saw it as a negative thing so and it can and it can always benefit and it can benefit you in a lot of different ways so yes i'm gonna leave it at that um number six don't be afraid to set boundaries whether that's 
financially, sexually, emotionally, and for the sake of your well-being. If anyone can't respect that and crosses it anyway, accept the fact that that person doesn't care or respect you. So keep a healthy distance. If you don't know, let me just take it a step back. If you're if you don't know how to set boundaries and you're you feel a little uncomfortable doing it i feel like that's something telling you to do it if you're feeling uncomfortable about doing it do it and see what happens because at the end of the day if you're saying hey can you stop doing this can you stop saying that can you stop can you just stop doing certain things to me or like when you tell somebody to stop doing something and they keep doing it anyways and you're telling them that it hurts your feelings but they're doing it anyways understand they don't care about you they do not care about you i don't care who it is and you tell them, hey, what you doing is making me feel bad. Ra, ra, ra. They don't get it. They don't want to do it. They do it anyways. They don't respect you. They don't, yeah, like, keep it pushing. Number seven. If they didn't want to be, if they didn't want to be there on your worst days, the, they most definitely do not, do not deserve to be around you on your best days. So let's say you want to, if you're one of those nice people that are always around for others even when they treat you wrong but they can't be around you when you're in the wrong understand that they can't if they can't handle you when you're wrong then they don't deserve to be in your life because all they can handle is the good they can, if they could only handle the good that you offer but you know like if they only can handle and i'm not just saying offer like in materialistic ways it can be offer as just your you as a person like if they can't handle you at your worst, then they don't deserve you at your best. That's simple as that. Number eight, tolerating disrespect in order to keep the peace in any relationship will never change anything unless you change it. There is nothing wrong with asserting yourself, so change who you surround yourself with. For all the people that are just trying to be nice, or maybe you have an anger problem and you just don't want to go to jail and hurt somebody, and you just trying to keep the peace or whatever, you don't have to deal with that. You don't have to surround yourself with that. Number ninth lesson is going to be make your mental, physical, and spiritual well-being a top priority because the core of ourselves can help us not lose ourselves in what society brings us to be trapped in mentally like with the things that be going on in this world like you know you can lose yourself like in this in this like when you're held up with a lot of responsibility and trying to you know be successful and have this and have that like don't forget do not lose yourself in this do not lose yourself get to the to the core of you what made you you like get back to what made you you don't lose yourself in what what all what goes on like all the things that go on in this world and all the things that go on with your responsibilities and all the things that go on when you're trying to be successful do not lose yourself don't like remember to take the time to pray breathe be grateful um you know go to therapy take that time to like really re get to know yourself if you feel like you lost yourself and just everything that's that you know goes on in your life just remember to get back to you number 10 is repeated pain is only a repeated lesson from god you just got to be grateful for and really put in the effort to try to grow from it easier said than done i don't really feel like i need to explain myself with that one because i feel like we all are growing through something and you know it takes time to really accept that lesson and grow from it it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of self-accountability it takes a lot of solitude it's, it's it takes a lot of uncomfortable moments with just yourself when you just you know see not just seeing things for what it is but really getting to that other side the healthier version of you um 11. Make it your job to enjoy your solitude instead of keeping company that that are only around you when it's convenient for them. Meaning, make time for others when you can, not from a have to state of mind to make someone else happy. That's something that took me a really long time to, to learn and i'm not proud of the fact that i kind of had that mentality like i have to mentality just to make someone else happy like 
it ain't it ain't healthy it ain't all that good like eventually it catches up to you and you're just like damn like i need some time to me life is an experience and you can only prepare to learn from it through mistakes that can be shameful embarrassing and extremely sad sometimes Although I'm still working on it, is to embrace it and appreciate those moments or appreciate those mistakes didn't break you. It's only just your process. It's your journey. You know, it's not only a process, it's your journey. You know, like it's your story, you know, embrace it. Yes, you made those mistakes. Yes, you did that. Yes, you did this. It's a part of your life. It's a part of your story. And, it, you know, sometimes it's hard to have that perspective or even realize that because you're too busy just trying to. Maybe you're a perfectionist. I, I'm, you know, maybe you're a perfectionist and maybe you just don't know how to embrace, you know, the things that you've done in your life. And I just want to let you know that it's okay and, you know, embrace it, you know, accept the fact that you did make those mistakes, accept the fact that, I mean, you're human, you know, that it's a part of your story and that story is going to be needed you know maybe along you know down the line you know you never know who's gonna need to hear this message so i mean i'm just saying like i'm not really proud of the things that i've done but it's a part of my life it's a part of something that i had to learn and really see it in a better perspective or not a better perspective but in a different perspective as in like yeah like it's okay you know like you made mistakes yeah and embrace it because that's what makes you different that's what makes you you and that's what makes up what your story is um playing vengeance will not resolve anything and it will only hinder your character and the best ven the best vengeance is to simply let that individual be and move forward respectfully yes i understand that you're tired of letting people hurt you but trust me vengeance will only hurt you in the end literally it will only hurt you in the end and if it ain't gonna hurt you now it's gonna hurt you later you know it feels good you're like yeah you know you feel cool and bad it's not worth it it's gonna it's gonna get you either here or here don't don't do it i promise you it's not worth it not just about forgiving others but learning to give yourself grace and learning how to forgive yourself which isn't easy, but it's something I realized I needed to still practice on not beating myself up and just reminding myself that it's okay. You know, give myself some compassion, give myself a break. Cause sometimes I tend to break, like beat myself up and like, oh, like why would I do that? And, uh, like, you know, like sometimes, you know, things like, just happen and it happens. And you just gotta be compassionate to yourself. You gotta look yourself in the mirror, it helps. And giving myself compassion and looking myself in the mirror more and forgiving myself moving in silence can make such a difference in your life that you know like it keeps you from getting discouraged from other people when you share things you know sometimes people tend to project negativity try to tell you to do this do that like make you pivot you from the thing that you have in your heart or in your mind or you want to do do it in silence you ain't don't let no one try to discourage you quietly do it execute it and it don't make such a difference in your life when you move in silence just remember to have more self accountability for whatever life this decision whatever you decided to tolerate or how you feel regarding regarding any circumstance no matter the reason i think it's important to maintain a balanced perspective in always being a student regarding the obstacles that you face in life in order to learn from them so always remember like remind yourself to have a balanced perspective and be willing to be a student within your life and within your own hardships because that's the only way you'll be able to learn and teach others and help them i think i think being a student of your life being a student overall is just helps you keep an open mind and you know but not let don't let everything get in your mind but you know be a student be a student be, but be aware as well child you get what i'm saying Share your life in moderation. Share your life in moderation with the closest people to you because you just never know. You just never know how much they can use against you in regards to how they decide to move with how much you share regarding your heart, regarding your mind, regarding your personality. They can all eat that up. And when they eat that up and they spit that out back at you and hurt you, understand that you have to really take accountability for that and share moderation. You know, really get to know the person you're around and just be more observant and aware and, you know, share in moderation. 
share in moderation even if you're online you know what i'm saying share in moderation and that's all i got for y'all until part two don't forget to like and subscribe i know y'all missed me i mean if y'all didn't and y'all still decided to watch i mean hi bye part two coming soon <laughs> Thank you.